Hi guys, Wendy here. In this video, we're going to draw my draw so cute panda corn. So let's get started. With this panda corn, we're going to first start by drawing its head. So right here, I'm going to start to draw a big curve. And so this is going to be the top of the panda corn's head. And I'm just going to be drawing the usual dumpling shape that I give all my animals. So nice, nice big curve at the top. And I'm going to start to bring it down nice and wide on the sides for the cheek area. And bring it around. And connect it. So there, that's the shape you're aiming for. A little bit narrow at the top and then widening it out at the sides. So I got this nice little dumpling shape right here. And from there, let's bring this uh, panda corn to life. <laughs> so let's start with the ears right here. So on this little edge right here, I'm gonna draw some ears. So I'm just gonna go around and pop out a little ear for this panda. And I'm gonna go straight across right there, give myself a point. And from this point right here, I'm just going to go straight across. So it just helps me to give me a guide to know where the other um, ear should be approximately. And just draw approximately the same ear on the other side. Like that. So we got our two little ears in. And then now to draw the panda to bring him to life. So right here, I'm going to um, pop in the nose first just to anchor everything. So right in the center, right here, I'm gonna draw his little nose. Little curve, and then bring it down. Connect it to a point. Okay, then from there, let's um, draw the eyes. So it's gonna be on the side of the nose right here. So about right here, I'm going to start to draw that black patch for his eye. So it's kind of like drawing an oval at an angle. And the shape doesn't really matter, it's all up to you. So we're going to try to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to give myself some points. So about right there. And we come down about right here. So I know it's approximately how low. And I'm going to go towards the edge just like the other side. Bring it around. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. Like that. So there. Now to um, put in the eyes. So right here, I'm going to draw a bigger circle because I'm going to be drawing another circle inside. So don't make this one too small. It's a oh, nice wobbly circle. <laughs> and then another one inside. Some days the hands are steadier than others, right? Okay, I have a lot of fixing to do on my wobbly circle there. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So right here, right there, draw another bigger circle. Okay, this one's a little bit better, not as wobbly. And another one inside. So there, got my circles in. Now to make them draw so cute eyes, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw a bigger circle for a highlight and then a smaller one. So the bigger one, I think, just gives it that more magical look. So hopefully that, that does work like that. <laughs> so let's try to have a bigger highlight and then a smaller highlight. And just shade this part in, the top part. So thank you for all the requests for a panda corn. I really love how this panda corn turned out and I hope you do too. I think it's just so cute. <laughs> and okay, so same thing here. A bigger circle, bigger highlight, and then a smaller one. And curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So even if you don't care for panda corns, you can just uh, use this drawing to draw a regular panda or a bear. I 
Okay, and so the lines at the bottom. So we got the eyes in, and then now for, to finish off the mouth. So I'm gonna come here at that point where I made for the nose, and I'm gonna go straight down, about right there, and then bring up a curve for the mouth. So same thing on both sides. And just give it a little cap at the ends. Just a tiny little one. So there, got a little panda in. And um, I'll shade this all in um, when I take it into the computer. And um, from there, let's start to draw the body. Okay, so we're gonna start with the arms. So I'm gonna come about right here. So I'm gonna center my arms. And from there, I'm gonna curve it out. So I'm gonna come in here with one more little stroke. So I kind of have to connect it because the panda's arms are black. Or else I would have left a little gap right here. But we have to color that all in black. So I'm just gonna go all the way. So same thing on this side, just a nice curve for the arms, very simple. And then right here, I'm gonna bring out the body. So nice chubby curve. <laughs> And then um, right there, I'm gonna bring it in. Same thing on this side. And connect it. So there. And then um, from there, let's draw the legs. So from right here at this point, we're gonna bring out the legs. So pop it out and then come up a tiny bit and bring it down. And right here, we're gonna bring out the leg, so this angle is gonna slightly come out a little bit and connect. So same thing on the other side. So try to make it about the same length and pop this angle out and connect it. So there we got the two feet in, and so then this, um, panda corn here is holding a heart so right in the center I'm just giving myself a point so that's my center to draw my heart that he's holding or you can have him hold anything you want but I'm gonna draw a heart right here like that okay so basically this is a panda and um, but we're drawing a panda corn right so <laughs> let's turn him into a panda corn so right here in the center at the top, I'm going to draw a curve. So, and I'm gonna draw his horn. So I'm gonna go straight up, say about this tall, and I'm going to angle line down. So same thing over here. There, and then let's make them horn. So I'm going to just draw some curves. So you can make them like a rainbow horn or one color, however you like it. And just come in here, because this is very straight right now, and then just pop out the edges right here. Give it some give it some corners so it looks a little bit more realistic, has more volume. Okay, and then I'll go in there and erase that line later. And so also I figure maybe we can also add wings to this panda corner if you want. So if you wanted to add wings right here, I'm just gonna add tiny little wings. That'd be really cute. So this is all up to you. Hopefully this inspires you to draw your own panda corn. <laughs> so right there, same thing on the other side. Make sure it ends about the same. And bring it in. And so, once again, I'll go in there and color this all black right here, the arms and the legs and the eyes and the ears on the computer. But that's about it for this cute little panda court. Hope you guys loved how it turned out. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.